Greetings everyone and welcome back to our channel. Today we're going to talk about a common challenge in email marketing, ensuring that your MailChimp emails land in your subscribers inboxes and not in their spam folders. So I'll share some quick tips to help you improve your email deliverability. But before we jump into the action, if you are new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and ring the notification bell so you never miss out on our latest adventures and keep you on the loop for future content. And to our returning viewers, welcome back and we appreciate your ongoing support and could not wait to embark with you in this journey. Now, let's get right into it. Okay, so um, before we go to the dashboard itself, I just wanted to make sure that avoiding your emails sent through MailChimp from ending up in the spam folder is an utmost importance for um several reasons right number one that emails that land in the spam folder are less likely to be seen by your subscribers obviously right you know what avoiding the spam folder ensures that your messages have a better chance of being noticed high deliverability rates are essential for successful email marketing when your emails consist consistently end up in the spam folder it can negatively impact your sender's um, reputation, making it more challenging to reach subscribers in boxes in the future. Emails in the, in the spam folder often go unopened. We, we know how it is, right? So by avoiding the spam folder, you increase the likelihood that your subscribers will open and engage with your content, which is crucial for the success of your email campaigns. Now, Complying with email marketing regulations such as the CAN Spam Act and GDPR is essential. I know you heard of it. Uh, these regulations require that you obtain consent from subscribers and provide a clear way for them to opt out, right? So when your emails consistently go to spam, it can raise questions about your compliance with these laws. And your email sender reputation is influenced by factors like, you know, engagement rates, spam complaints and bounce rates so sending emails to the spam folder can harm your reputation making it a challenge to maintain a good sending reputation with your isp right and of course if you're running email marketing campaigns to drive sales or conversions emails in the spam folder can directly impact your revenue your subscribers can take action if they don't see your email right so by avoiding the spam folder you gain a competitive advantage and your emails will stand out in subscribers inboxes increasing your chances of getting their attention and achieving your marketing goals now let's go to the interface itself so you go here to um audience from the comp click audience and then click all contacts okay you hover down where it says where your email should be so this is the email that you wanted to uh, to okay um, hold on yeah we hover here so when you go to the email address, you go click in the settings and click on audience name and defaults, right? So you can avoid some, uh, let's say you, you can put some words here like uh, to avoid being at a spam like discounts um uh, advantage you know like uh, uh spammy words you have to avoid it spammy words discounts or sale less so you have to come up with the words that you wanted to put here to avoid being at the spammy word and after that you can actually hover to your website if you have the website you click here and then it, sh it, it, it should show you a domain here, but we don't have a domain yet. So all you got to do is click on the domain and put your email address on that to avoid getting the MailChimp going to spam. So how cool is that, right? Very, very easy. And once again, thank you for joining us today. If you found this tutorial helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. 
Subscribe to our channel for more MailChimp online tutorials and leave any questions or feedback in the comments below. Until next time, see you in the next video.